Hello, in this video I'll show you how to write a CSV file in C Sharp uh, with C Sharp, how to basically export your data into a CSV file and then also how to read it using the CSV helper uh, library, right? It's a simple library and just like I've done with PDF in a previous video I've done recently, uh, I will show you how to use this library. This one's going to be very quick and I've researched a few of them. This one seems to be the best one, at least for writing the files. Now, I haven't tried too many different types of uh, arrangements of CSV files for reading. In terms of reading, that might be a bit more troublesome. But as far as writing your file and then reading the file that you wrote, this works perfectly fine. It's a good library to use. It's called the CSV Helper, right? I will leave the link in the description and we can go into the Visual Studio. I'll show you how to use it. It's very simple. This one is indeed very simple. You see right here we have a console application. I'm going to go into the NuGet packages because we do need a, a NuGet packages a package in order for this to work. We have it installed and it's called CSV Helper. Right here, CSV Helper. I'm going to paste all the links. And as you can see, it's been around for a while, at least in terms of the version. So it is sort of trustworthy. And as you can see, as for the licenses, it's fully commercial for free ready, right? So it's fully free. Now, I like these. They are fully free, not uh, some kind of... Uh, maybe scam going on with partially free and you start using and you realize you have to pay um, some huge amounts of money. So this is transparent, this is truly free and you can just jump on it and use it. So now we need to, we need to provide the CSV helper using statement and we can jump into this. Now for the example, I just have a test model, a test model class where we have val1, value1, integer and a string for value2. So I'm showing that you can write several different types, not just a string but an integer as well, basically a number. Now we just start with generating a list. As you can see we have test list, test data model and all that and we add, we generate some random values to be inserted. So as for the writing, it's very simple. It's very easy to do. You just need to establish a writer. A writer is a stream writer, okay? And for that, in the using, as you can see, we have system.io. System.io, we need for the stream writer right here. The stream writer is, uh, again, it's not part of the CSV writer library but it takes basically the location where you want that file to be created and written into. And then we establish the actual CSV writer uh, library, in this case just a class of it, uh, and that takes the writer, the reference to the writer. It basically establishes a stream and uh, it deals with the writing without having to write to the stream directly. Kind of a pointless thing in my opinion, but uh, it is being used in this case, so you can't really avoid it. And then you have culture info in variant culture. I'm not going to get into the cultures. Um, this probably would concern you a bit more if you're reading a file and it's not working. Then you might take a look at uh, uh, this part of the whole thing. So once we have that established, you simply use the write records method write records method and then you provide the test list. So if I were to run it, okay, I'm going to run it. I'm going to actually stop it right here for the first time. I'm going to show you what the output is. Okay, I'm going to run it and let's take a look at the output. So I've opened the Excel file or CSV file via the Excel and as you can see we have everything established and as you can also see the name of the variable in the data model, in the class model, uh, that is the header of the table. You get a sort of a table established and then you get these uh, header values. So in this case it's val1 and as you can see the integers were inserted and then val2 we have all 
the strings. Now, if you want to learn about C sharp programming language, you can take a look at my C sharp programming language course. You can also take a look at my API courses, Blazor course, uh, lots of different courses I have. Also, take a look at my Microsoft Excel course if you need to get started with the Microsoft Excel, a great tool to know about. And now let's take a look at the reading of it. So we are back in the code and for the reading we need to establish a reader. In this case it's going to be stream reader. Again, I personally wouldn't use stream reader. I would just use a stream and read a stream. I like it better, but it doesn't matter. This is what the CSV reader uses and this is what we have to use. And then you simply provide the location, okay, the location, and then you have CSV reader. CSV reader constructed once again, right? Uh, we had previously the CSV writer, right here we have CSV writer, and for the reading we have the reader. And then we provide the stream reader, just like we did with the stream writer right here, for the CSV writer, and then uh, the same culture information. Okay, now once we have that, this is very similar to reading or deserializing a JSON string, right? So we basically just use this method, we provide the output type, the result type, and it deals uh, with the file and it gives you the result, right? This is the output, right here, this is the output. Now, one thing I do want to note, uh, and that is the write records right here, okay? So this will be executed, but the file will only become sort of available, it will only be uh, filled, so to speak, uh, once you execute the CSV writer dispose. So do be careful about that. And uh, in case you see an empty file, do check for these things. If you maybe b uh, break right hand and let it loose, uh, it may not work. Uh, so do check out my courses, subscribe to the channel for more such content, for, for more tutorials. There's a, a going to be an exciting Blazor project about invoices coming out soon. So uh, you can look forward to that. And with that said, we will conclude this video.